Hello everybody! In this video I will demonstrate uh, what uh, Amazon Web Service readiness for Certified Machine Learning Specialty exam is providing. And uh, in this video I also try to go through the questions provided by Amazon Web Service in preparation for the specialty exam. But before that let's go quickly through the content of this readiness. Okay, at the beginning we have a course introduction. It is basically what is uh, about uh, uh, this exam. Secondly, uh, we have uh, exam overview and test taking uh, the strategies. Uh, you can check this video, you can check uh, um, what the exam is consisted of for and uh, what you should to pay attention to uh, what example of question you you can to accept and and next we have a uh, specific domains of what we have to learn what we have to study before taking an exam and the first domain is data engineering a lot of materials is in here i like uh, the visualization and schemas that uh, help you to understand the uh, topics very good in a very good approach in very simple words and with simple examples and uh, what i want to highlight in this point is amazon F fx uh, for lester uh, i didn't found uh, such questions uh, dedicated for amazon fx uh, for lester in udemy or uh, Linux ac academic courses, but uh, you should pay attention to this readiness because you, on here you can see uh, the most realistic questions uh, that you can to accept into exam. And uh, this domain is quite new, uh, not domain, but it's this service is quite new, and I didn't found uh, any questions in Udemy courses or something or something else. So. The second domain is uh, exploratory data analysis. Um, if uh, if you have some experience in machine learning and statistics, this domain is not it shouldn't be so difficult for you. But you can check it out. What is talking about? It's about sanitize your data and uh, about scaling about. Uh, inputting uh, missing data uh, different scenarios and it's very good uh, approach uh, in this readiness that it is a list uh, you can find the list of uh, related topics that you have to study more about data set, data set generation for example in this domain data augmentation descriptive statistics informatic informative statistics handling missing values and outliers and uh, what is the difference between original feature and engineered feature and uh, some examples it's quite good it's very very easy reading uh, this kind of uh, material in this readiness so go next to modeling and as you can see uh, always on the top of each, do each domain you you see a video th that is explain what we will talk about is uh, quite good start for each domain and uh, this domain uh, consists of a lot of different topics uh, that you have to dive deeper and uh, for example for me uh, I pay special attention to this because uh, uh, it contains a lot of different topics and uh, you should pay attention to even small details that is mentioned in this readiness and different scenarios and we are talking about uh, confusion matrix in this domain we are talking about uh, uh, we are talking about uh, some uh, services that help to model our uh, pipelines in Amazon Web Service. We are talking about SageMaker, uh, about data preprocessing, and 
at the end of the readiness you can try yourself on a couple of questions it is a question number one and this is the answer to the question with explainability descriptions why we choose a specific uh, answer and why we don't choose uh, another answers and the same with the second questions is quite good um, an explainability video on the bottom and at the end you have a domain quiz uh, it uh, here you can get uh, about four or five questions uh, dedicated for this domain okay it's a little bit uh, loading and let's see let's see um, and domain quiz is at the end of each uh, domain uh, it is uh, for domain 1 domain 2 domain 3 and domain 4 and as in here you can see uh, a couple of questions not couple of questions but uh, I guess it will be a five or four questions dedicated to this domain and uh, when I compare this question with uh, Udemy or Linux Academy or some uh, hours uh, commercials uh, test I think this question is quite more realistic uh, and reflect the real exam and this is my opinion yeah and the last domain is machine learning implementation and operations and uh, this is also a very complicated topic and I really like uh, the visualization and how the information is represented uh, for you and you can go through uh, sequentially and uh, read more read more you can check what uh, specific service is doing in this scenario uh, you can analyze uh, uh, related topic uh, for the same uh, domain is very good reading and also at the end of this uh, uh, domain you can you get also a couple of questions to try yourself you get the explains uh, why we are cho choosing a specific answer and uh, it's yes this is the couple of questions and at and at the end you get a domain quiz it's also four or five questions for this domain and finally, when you finish uh, all the domains I'm talked before, you get uh, static questions. And uh, for these static questions, I will make a different uh, video in my channel where I make a live session by trying to answer to these all questions. Here we will have uh, 35 questions uh, that reflect a real exam for all domains. and when I finish it I get uh, my score uh, explains uh, about correct and incorrect answers and I think it's very 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 beneficial stuff uh, in your preparation for the machine learning exam so it will be on the next video and for for now I think uh, I can summarize this uh, exam readiness that it must to be read for everyone that is preparing for this exam because it's cover all the domains in simple words in summarizing important keys and uh, you can get uh, some practical advices for exam you can uh, learn more about strategies which doc documentation should you use for each domain and uh, I am using it, I am preparing for my exam and uh, I think it is worth to know that you should at least pay a couple days uh, to this uh, Amazon Web Service Machine Learning Specialty readiness. So see you on the next video in live session by answering to static questions and for now I, I have to say this so bye bye.